tell you what, when we get to that question again in our next phase in our ceremony, and each person uh, will have a chance to answer that question from a slightly different angle. But we do, I love this, we want to hear from you so that we do know how to help you keep this alive and make it real and finish out the pieces that have been the hardest as you, as you put it. Angela, yes. you can, I'll speak for myself too, but you could put what can help that systemically is just in notes, just here's the contact list from the folks. Just to make it so you don't even have to go around, can I get your email, phone number, just, you know, give it to the whole group, because, I don't know, Chris, you're okay with that, right? Of course. No? Very good. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, uh, done. Is it not done? Can get that out? That's good. Okay. So, great. And I think a contact list for everybody, not just the um, new men, so that I, if I need to call Kathy, mm -hmm. if I need to call whoever. Yeah. You're all comfortable with that? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. oh, wonderful. Can I just, I, yes, could I just yeah. support what, what you're saying is, um, these two guys, uh, Chris and John wanted to do their strategic care, and they said, oh, well, we'll do it together. We'll, everybody will show up at John's house. And uh, before I could think about it, I said yes. Um, and it was like, oh, why did you say yes? Uh, because all the time I facilitated it one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I don't like hurting cats, you know. And so... Uh, but it turned out that they learned and helped each other as much as me being there. And that was totally unexpected. And so to your point, you know, reaching out to someone, else, and maybe, you know, you'll have coffee and you'll talk about it, and maybe nothing will come out of it. But my bet is that at least 50% of the time, something will come out of it, you know? So I would really encourage that. Yeah. 